Welcome to Let's Get Metaphysical, the show that stretches you beyond your five senses. When you are looking for your next step on the path into the unseen, we've got you covered. Join epic adventure seekers and level up your game with your host, reality magician, Allie Bierman. Have you ever noticed just when you need some information, it pops up right there for you? My favorite way is when people come in to my presence who I don't know, who I wasn't looking for, who provide exactly what I need in that moment. Well, let me give you a couple examples to make it real for you because this happens in your world and you can cause it to happen consciously. I was in the store and I needed two items in that store. One was a very special, powerful fabric and car cleaner, interior car cleaner, comes in a can. The other one was a kind of paint to do an outside paint job on a car. Well, so I'm in going up and down in the store, and it's one of these really big, I think you call them box stores, really, really big. I didn't know where to find that cleaner because it wasn't in the cleaner aisle. And then the universe said, well, go down this aisle. I go down that aisle and wasn't down that aisle. And suddenly I turn around and you know how there's a display on the end of each aisle? There it was way up high, definitely out of my reach. So I looked around. I know in that kind of store, they used to have these ladders and you could climb up the ladder. They had rails. They were nice and safe for getting something out of reach. No ladder was to be found. So I'm thinking, what am I going to do? And just then, what do you think happens? A very tall person comes walking down the way and I stop him and ask him to get that can for me. Okay, so now I've got one can of stuff that I wanted. So I ask, where's the kind of paint that I'm looking for? And I'm told, go to go down this aisle. Well, they had to have had a dozen different varieties of the paint that I was looking for, for my car. And I decided I'm looking up a high shelf. It's just out of my reach. Okay, it's out of my reach again. Well, last time I caused a person who was tall to walk by. So I'm going to do that again. And people were coming by and they were my height or smaller. So I knew they weren't going to be able to reach what I couldn't reach. And I spent quite a while figuring out how am I going to get that? And I went down the end of the aisle, looked around to see if there was somebody moseying on by like there was the first time. Didn't happen. So then I went back and looked at the variety of paints within the same brand I was looking for. And oh my goodness, my eyes were directed because my guides and angels were directing me that way to a different variety of paint. And guess where it was? right at my height and I grabbed it, I bought it and it served exactly the purpose I wanted it to serve. So the first case, I needed somebody tall to get me something that was up high. The second case, I thought I wanted what was up high, but it wasn't the right thing for me. And after a while, I got a very clear message. Look at eye level, found what I needed, got what I needed. Now, I had a very, I don't know, might call it disheartening and yet very delightful experience yesterday. I took the garbage out and on my way back from taking the garbage out, I noticed one of my tires on my car was flat. I mean, it was flat. So I went to my car and I got out my air compressor and I just didn't understand the directions. I hooked it up, I turned on the motor, I just couldn't figure out how to make it work. So I felt, what am I going to do? I'm looking around for somebody. And suddenly, out of nowhere, now I live in a new neighborhood, I don't know most of my neighbors. I look across the street, outside the other end, across the street from the driveway where I was, and there was a small crowd of neighbors I didn't know most of them. And I went over and 
It was really cool because I got to meet more of my nice new neighbors. Have I told you I live in a fantastic neighborhood with incredibly wonderful people, great neighbors? I asked if anybody there knew how to work an air compressor. And everybody said, no, no, no. Though it was really delightful to meet everybody and their kids. And then there was one teenager who walked away and he came back with his dad who knew exactly what to do to work the air compressor and fix the tire. Well, it turned out after we blew the tire back up to where it belonged, it went, went back to where it was previously. And there was a hole somewhere in there that we couldn't find. However, my new neighbor told me exactly where he goes to get all his car servicing needs and guess what it's neighbors with the place where i have an early morning appointment tomorrow there are no coincidences so i was able to call my car service that comes out and helps you they change they put my spare tire on so tomorrow i go to my morning appointment i come out of there i go over to the place highly recommended by my new neighbor my new friend and i take care of replacing my tire that's what happens in your life when you allow yourself to be open when you allow yourself to notice those messages come in at you all the time you not only notice them you pay attention and act on them. Easy. Yeah, life is a whole lot easier when you do that. If you don't know how to do that, you make sure you check in the show notes for the link to contact me because I can show you how. I wasn't born knowing how to do this. I learned how and I can show you how to contact your guides, your angels, the universe, to talk, to have immediate two-way communications, no waiting, no looking for something that's going to come next week, but right away, when you need it, right away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me here today for Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and mind. Remember to join our Facebook group to get some extras and also to ask questions. Make a new friend. We have more and more people joining every week. And you can also listen to or watch any episode and we're over a hundred episodes on our website. Link for that is also in the show notes. Uh, also looking to make a recommendation. I'm not going to recommend a specific audiobook today because I have so many that I love. And choosing one this week, I don't have that special need, but come back next week because I do have one for you. Audible will give you a free 30-day trial. Go and look around. Choose the audiobook of your choice. Listen to it. And there's so much to see. That's why it's a 30-day trial. So you can explore to see all the incredible opportunities that are in there for you to take advantage of, to enjoy. And by the way, the most important thing for you to do in life is enjoy it. That's capital I-N, capital G. Oh, why every moment you gotta enjoy it inside you, in your heart, because nothing in your world happens outside of you. You may have heard Deepak Chopra and many other metaphysicians saying, where does reality exist? Is it all up here in your mind? Or does it really exist outside of you? I'll leave that for you to ponder. Do go down and let me know your thoughts, or even more than that, your feelings about where is reality real? You've been listening to a talk on the wilder side. Thanks for tuning in to Let's Get Metaphysical. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And while you're at it, please leave a rating and review and be sure to share it with your friends. Tune in every Monday for more exciting insights and wisdom on life beyond your five senses. Until next time, take a small step in a new direction. Start now.